In this video I'm gonna show you how to easily and quickly use mix switch and mix switch dumper. But first things first, you'll need to download the firmware and I've left a link for you in the description and the pinned comment down below. Once you have the update.s2 file, you just need to copy it to the root of your SD card. Once the firmware is on your SD card, it's time to add some games. These games need to have both the bin certificates and the XCI file. Please make sure the XCI file name matches the name of the folder it's placed in. Then you'll need to copy the entire game folder with all of its certificates directly to the root of your SD card. Once that's done copying, you're ready to play. Of course, these games can be downloaded from the internet, but I'm gonna show you the legal way to create your own backups using MigDumper. Simply insert your game cartridge into MigDumper, then connect MigDumper to your PC using a regular USB-C cable. When you open File Explorer, it will detect it just like any other USB drive. You'll see a system folder with the firmware and then a folder containing all the game files and their respective certificates. This game folder is what you'll need to copy to your PC or to the root of your SD card if you want to be able to use this game with MixSwitch. The backup process only takes a few minutes while the cartridge is being cloned, you'll see the LED status blinking. It's important not to disconnect the device at this point under any circumstances. And once it's done, the LED will stop blinking. Just like that, with the SD card we prepared earlier, you can now play on your Nintendo Switch. Quick reminder, Mix Switch is compatible with all Nintendo Switch models like Switch Lite, the standard Switch, the OLED model and also the Switch 2. Without the need of any physical modification, no mod chip and no need to void your warranty. As you can see when you insert Mix Switch, a green LED lights up, indicating everything is ready and good to go. Then you can start your game without any issues. To avoid any problems with Nintendo or YouTube, potentially taking down this video, I want to show you that I have my original physical game cartridge here, which is why I'm showing it in the video. But right now this game is currently running from my mix switch and the SD card we prepared earlier. Another great advantage of the mix switch is that you can have more than one game on a single SD card. Just by pressing a button you can easily switch between games. I really hope this helped you out and if you have any questions regarding mix switch, mix switch dumper or anything else just leave it in the comments down below. See ya!